Before we continue with the rest of the video, we could use your help. Click that like button to help spread the word about Watch Jojo, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. What some Ohio State University students found in their basement seriously creeped them out. When Ohio State University students began noticing strange occurrences in their rented home, they decided to investigate the basement. And what they discovered there behind a locked door wasn't only shocking, it was also quite unsettling. Brett Muglin, a computer science and engineering student, and his roommate Mark Hartman, a civil engineering student, moved into their rented residence during their fourth year at Ohio State University in Columbus. The three-story house was home to 15 students in total. When the two friends arrived at their new home, everything seemed normal. Granted, the house was a bit old and run down. There was some mold growing in the air conditioning, for example, but there was nothing that out of the ordinary. About a month later, however, strange things began to happen. Brett and Mark found the microwave open, cupboard doors too, and weird noises were heard at night. These strange occurrences caused the pair to speculate about whether the house might be haunted. Yet, while this explanation made for an amusing story, the pair were still seriously concerned about the real cause. So Mark and his housemates decided to investigate. Their search led them down to the basement where a locked door barred the way. To the best of their knowledge, though, the only things behind it were utility meters. Still unable to get inside, these students called their realtor. And when the door was finally opened, they couldn't believe what they found inside. Instead of meters in a dusty old closet, the door revealed a secret room. With a mattress, clothes, electronics, textbooks, and other belongings strewn everywhere. The space looked freshly inhabited, too. Clearly, someone had been living here for a while. The students also found a bathroom, which explains how the secret basement dweller was able to live on his own without having to leave the room very often. But the most important discovery was yet to come. Luckily for the students, the room contained several photos of the mystery man. Furthermore, Brett had actually met him at the house before. He just assumed that he was another tenant since the property was rented across two parts, one on the first floor and another on the second and third. During their brief encounter, the man had dodged questions about his reasons for being in the house. He was apparently another Ohio State University student, one by the name of Jeremy. Indeed, according to his textbooks, he studied civil engineering just like Mark. Since Jeremy wasn't home when his secret room was found, the realtor, Mitch, left him a note with a phone number. Mark and his roommates, meanwhile, asked the leasing company to change the locks on the doors. The leasing firm hadn't actually switched the locks from the previous year, and this meant that somebody who lived at the property before could have copied their key and continued living there, hidden, without paying rent. In fact, as Brett and Mark discovered, this is exactly how Jeremy had gained entry. His cousin lived in the residence the year before and gave him his key. The shadiness of the arrangement meant that Jeremy could live in the residence undetected for nothing. Jeremy contacted the realtor and his housemates on the same day that his room was found. He then moved everything from the room with the exception of his mattress and a few other items. Yet while Jeremy may have been the ghost Brett and Mark had heard, they don't think he took advantage of the situation by stealing food or going through their belongings. He was a really nice guy. Brett told Lantern OSU. He just wasn't supposed to be living there. Both Mark and Brett were understandably a little upset by the situation. There could be hundreds of people with keys to the house, Mark told the university newspaper. Brett, meanwhile, thinks things could have turned out much worse than they did. The students weren't that unhappy with Jeremy. Rather, they were angry with North Step Realty, the company that leased the property. The firm declined to respond to Lantern OSU's request for comment. When the newspaper ran the story on Jeremy and his secret room, the comments from fellow students came flooding in. Moreover, many weren't best pleased with the standards of their accommodation. If you've noticed any doors and cupboards in your house and suspect that it could be haunted, maybe double check that there aren't any locked doors leading to hidden rooms. If you do find one, you may be surprised what's lurking behind.